Hello and uh, welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. Um, this one is going to be on how to create a growing vine. Um, so we'll get started now. Um, first, we need to delete our default cube. And then you want to press space, add curve, Bezier curve. Um, this one is going to be our vine, so you can grab it and manipulate it however you want. To grab the random points and move them around. You press E to extrude, so you have another point. And uh, I'll make mine do a little spirally thing like that. You can grab these little points here and move them in so that it's sort of like shorter and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it looks pretty in depth. Um, now, if I zoom in here, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, there are really straight lines here, as you can see, with sort of a sharp corner. It's, um, it doesn't really look very good, especially once you have the vine growing over it. You can see it much more then. Um, so to fix that sort of stuff, you want to go down here and go to uh, diff resolution, and you want to set that up by clicking on the number until it lets you type things. There you go, and um, put it up to something like a hundred, and that'll just smooth it out so much that you can't even see that it's made of tiny little lines, and um, that'll make it look much nicer. Um, so once you've done that, and you've made your um, your vine, if you want it to go into three D space instead of just a flat plane then um as you can see this one only goes in a flat plane um then you can press this button here which is 3d and that allows the uh, allow curve to be 3d um basically what it says right there uh so it allows you to make it move in 3d space you can make it go round things all that kind of stuff so right there um so now what we need is we need our um sort of the object, the bevel object, which is going to be the width of our vine at the very fat end. So to that, you need to go space, add, curve, bezier, circle. Sound a bit French then. And um, just scale it down to the fattest size you want it at this end. Um, and once you've done that, just press tab, and we'll grab it and move it out of the way. Um, then you want to go... Um, you want to press N to open up this dialog box, the transform properties box, and you want to go up here to the OB box, and you want to change it, which is its name, you want to change it to BEV, just so we can remember what it is. Um, then what you want to do is you want to select our vine, and you want to go over here to bevel OB, and you want to press control V, no you don't, you want to type in BEV. And what that'll do is that'll make it as fat as that circle. So now if I was to scale down the circle and scale up the circle, you can see it makes it grow fatter, it makes it go thinner. Um, so you can adjust that accordingly to how you like it. But um, now to make it so that it animatedly grows along that path. Um, to do that, what we need to do is we need to add a taper object. So we're going to press space, add, curve, sorry, make sure you're not in edit mode. And press space, add, curve, busier curve. You want to press V to make it straight. Then what you want to do is you want to go back into object mode and you want to move it out of the way. Just so that it's not like crossing over your thing and you get sort of things all muddled up. Um, so then what you need to do is you need to uh, grab this point on the left side and press E and extrude it. Then press... Um, then hold your middle mouse button down and drag it upwards so that it creates this green line. Um, it'll be red or blue depending on what view you're in as well, so just don't worry about that. Um, so it'll constrain it across the Y axis. Then what you need to do is just press 1 and then enter, and that'll move it up exactly one blender unit, which is important. Um, so what this taper object does is basically it um, makes this curve that uh, makes this object fatter at this um, the start depending on how high the first vertice is and then it's sort of like a graph that m determines the fatness of this um, curve 
So, what we need to do to make it so that you can animate this curve, because you can't normally am animate an object, what you need to do is you need to um, go down here, select this point in the corner, and um, press Control H and add empty. And what that'll do is that'll add an, a hook, which we can then animate the hook, and that'll move this point around, sort of like parenting this point to another object. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to animate our hook. To do that, we want to press I while we're in the first frame and go location, rotation, scale, location, rotation, scale. Um, then what you want to do is go down here to, this is our current frame, and you click on it, and it'll let you change it, and you want to type in 250, which is our default end frame. Then press G to grab it and then press X to constrain across the X axis so it doesn't move up at all and you want to move it across until the point that it's controlling as you can see that line sort of goes as a diagonal now um, you want to move it so so that that point is basically on top of the point that that used to be sort of to the right of it so about there because the hook doesn't sort of stand exactly where it's supposed to be um, you just have to sort of work it out by moving it and there looks good so we'll put it there and um, then press I location and rotation scale so now that we have our curve animated we need to make it so that it actually affects our vine by click right click our vine go down here to oh sorry no we need to name it by pressing N to open up this dialog box then you want to type a name like T-A-P-R taper then go over here and you want to type it into this taper box down here T -A -P -E -R. and as you can see it's already gone a different shape this is what it will look like at the end of your animation and um, if we hold the down button if you press the down button that goes back through the animation and you can see it slowly sort of wind down and then wind back up through the animation which is quite cool um, so yeah, so if you were to render this as an animation, you would see the vine growing. Um, so that's about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about how to make vines in Blender and um, other few things like hooks and the curves and stuff. Um, so if you enjoyed it, feel free to rate and comment and um, subscribe so you know that when so you know my when my next tutorial is out. Um, I quite enjoy reading people's comments and stuff and 